G'day everyone and welcome back to FTR TV, part two of our lighting episode. Now we've got the Max Vector Theory already installed onto the K600 tank. Now we're going to go download the app and show you how to control this light. Let's go! So we're setting up with an iOS device today. Firstly head into the Apple Store and search for ICV6. When the ICV6 MacSpec app pops up, go ahead and download and install it, but don't open the app yet. Next we're going to connect our app to the ICV6 unit. Head back to your home screen and go into settings and then select Wi-Fi. You'll see the MacSpec device pop up, so go ahead and select it to connect to it. And head back to your home screen and open the MacSpec app. Next, we will connect the ICV6 device to the app, and you do this by pressing the plus sign in the top right hand corner. The app lists the ICV6 devices that are available to connect to, so go ahead and select the new device. Next, we will need to name the ICV6 unit. In this case, I am naming it Ethereum. The next step is to connect it to our home network. This is to allow the connection to automatically switch between the ICv6 and home internet. On this screen, enter your Wi-Fi details and hit confirm. Once this is complete, the ICv6 device is now connected to our home network. Next we're going to add our Ethereal Lite device to the app. Start by hitting add Ethereal device. The app will now display the light fixtures that are available for you to add, so go ahead and select your light fixture. Next you will need to name your light fixture. I'm going to call mine Maxpect. If you add more than one light on the tank, you can name it left and right, or light 1 and light 2. Once your light is connected, hit let's begin. Now in order to use our light, we need to create a group for the light or lights to belong to. So connect to the light by tapping on the light fixture and then go to the bottom and select devices. You will see your light fixture under non-grouped devices. To create a group, hit the icon in the top right hand corner. Now name the group that the light will belong to. In this case, it will be Cade Pro. Now you just select the light or the lights that belong to this group by tapping the checkbox on the right hand side. Once you've selected your light, hit confirm. You will now see the ICV6 device named Ethereal and connected to that is the Cade Pro lighting group with the Max Spec light inside that group. Now to control the fixture, select the group that you wish to control. You will see on the bottom right hand side that I've selected the Cade Pro and it has one light connected. Now there are two ways to control the Ethereum, either by photo period, which allows you to create a custom lighting schedule, or color spectrum, where you can manually control the light. We will start with color spectrum first. Go ahead and hit the color spectrum icon and the light will turn on. Hit control on the bottom row and it will now display controls for the five color channels. You can slide the bars left or right individually on each color channel to adjust the intensity. Or alternatively, you can manually enter the value on the right hand side of the light bar. The light will automatically adjust as you change the intensity. Now head back to your home screen and switch over to photo period. This allows you to set a complex lighting schedule to automatically run throughout the day. Hit control along the bottom row to bring up the lighting schedule. MaxSpec have four presets that you can use to base your lighting schedule off. You can also modify them to create your own custom lighting schedule. To upload a schedule, hit the arrow on the bottom to bring up the presets and select between 1, 2, 3 or 4 and hit the upload button. As you can see, the lighting schedule changes each time you upload a different preset. Now you can change the time points to create your own custom lighting schedule. 
Just simply tap a time point and adjust the time or the intensity. You will need to adjust each time point individually. When you finish with the schedule, save it to the top row by selecting one of the points and hitting the save button. This now saves your particular time point changes to preset number one. You can add additional time points by pressing the plus sign on the right hand side. And to delete, simply hold down on the time point and hit confirm. And remember to apply your lighting schedule by hitting the tick along the bottom to send the information to your ethereal light. A nice feature that I like on the ethereal light is being able to adjust the RGB fan light to suit your tank. So you can create different moods. To do this, hit control on the bottom row, then hit the three horizontal divides at the top right hand corner and select RGB mood light. You can drag the point around to create the mood light colour you would like on your tank. Now I hope that video was able to guide you through setup of the MaxSpec Ethereal Light. If you found the video useful, feel free to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss out on any future videos. You can also follow me at, on Instagram at First Time Briefer. Now until next time, peace!